Sometimes you feel like a nut. Hey, hello, farmers. Welcome back to Pacific Northwest. Another day where the corn's not ready, so I don't think we're going to be getting pigs again today. But we do have enough to do. Like for one, take care of the animals. The animals need some taking care of the chickens. We're just about out of food. Uh, the sheep need some hay slash grass. Um, water for both, I guess, for all of them. Some straw maybe for the cows and maybe get some silage from the BGA. Bring it over or we'll give them power food to see what that does for now. The cows health, 89%. I like that. The sheep, 96. I think they're kind of stuck there. I mean, I'm not going to complain about that. I'm not going to complain about this. Remember we started at 7%? How lovely was that? Uh, the other thing, at midnight, uh, we didn't lose as much cash as before. If we go down here, we were paying forty-six forty-five in interest in the loan. We're now down to twenty-nine sixteen. So yes, we are moving along here. Now, let me go back in cab here. Because it's probably quieter. But we do have enough work to do today. I could pay off some more to loan, but like I said, we do need to we I do want to buy some pigs, but <laughs> I just don't think it's going to be today. We also got to finish the sugar beet down in the big field. We can do that. Plow some fields. We can do that. So we got enough work to do around the yard. That's not a problem. Uh, yes, this, this door here. I was almost forgetting what door I had to go to. Uh, yep, I'm doing a whole bunch of great things with the steering wheel today. Alright. I have not mastered backing up in Farming Simulator with the steering wheel just yet. But other than that, we're doing great. So, uh, you know what? We'll, we'll park up the John, yeah, the John Deere, the trailer first. Then I can shut the door. Yeah, because I'm looking backwards and turning the steering wheel the wrong way. This full of wonders I am. ATS, not much of a problem. Farming Sim, just because I just barely started using the wheel, I'm getting used to it still. Still the forward and backwards on the pedals is kind of throwing me off sometimes, but you know. Alright, we can close this door. Like that. And actually what I need to do next is probably be easier if I went to the map. It, our corn is not ready, although I thought it was going to be. So you know what? Let's enter into this. It's not quite full. The sugar beet harvester, but we'll empty it up. And we will finish the harvest of the sugar beet. Who knows, there might be a great demand for sugar beet today. And really, it does not take us long to harvest with this sucker, now does it? So let's turn her on. And we'll burn through the sugar beet in no time with this thing. It's been so long since I used a base game sugar beet harvester or potato harvester. This this field here, this little section here I did probably took, would take me all day. I'm emptying, and if you did, you know, without mods. Sometimes, yeah. And there's nothing wrong if you like doing it that way, just that I don't quite have that much time on my hands try to put out YouTube videos here and there but in a month's time when 19 comes out there are gonna be no mods to start with so but then again I don't think most people are gonna be sugar beet or potato harvesting right off people are gonna you know be fiddling around with the horses and trying to figure out how to do their own layout of the map 
that's one of the best things I think about 19 are going to be is I've said this before being able to place the animals where you want them for the most part and maybe your start of your farm even though we're all playing on the same map it's going to be different for everyone because everyone's going to be placing their things in different areas and I do hope when 19 comes out next month I hope to have a video going out every day for farm sim I probably will be playing on the Ravenport map I don't know if I can do both maps at the same time that'd be kind of difficult although I did think about doing Ravenport as on hard difficulty or whatever difficulty I don't know what they're gonna have and on the other map I could just go on the real easy mode just so we can test things out and place things around so I might do it that way but we'll have to see that's less than a month looks like I'm gonna fit all this into the harvester which is great I might as well get the only strip that I kinda of missed There we go. The only thing I wish about this mod, I just wish you could uh, color the machine a little bit better. I don't, I do like green, but uh, this color not quite my style. Gotta love how fast that loads, unloads, all that good stuff. No, 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 no! Don't tip my. Uh, wow! I didn't know I was going. to yeah, wasn't quite prepared for that. Uh, I'll try not to go in my neighbor's field. That'd be rude. Yeah, even though the corn looks ready here, season says, nope, you're waiting another day. And really with winter coming, that would only leave us two more days of fall. So I said, well, I can't, don't really want to skip the fourth day of autumn. Let's get some things done. That way when the fifth day comes, we'll just have the corn and the pigs to do and maybe we'll have everything else all settled so for now we'll park this here and yeah I even got my tanker down there because I had to fill the bioprocessing plant I'm not running that far holy crap that's that's a long ways <laughs> so let's hop in our beautiful Volvo here Yeah, so when midnight rolled around, uh, with all the upkeeps and stuff, I used to lose about 12 grand-ish right around there, and now I lost about maybe 9 grand. So paying off $300,000 that loan, or was it 400000 Yeah, it was like 400 grand we paid off. Now, if everything goes to plan, it kind of looks like after we mow the big field in the summer and sell that silage, Somewhere around there, that should almost pay off our entire loan. Yes, we owe 700 grand back to the bank, but with the silage, we usually get anywhere from four to 500 grand depending on the price. And uh, yeah, I forgot how much weight I had in the back of the trailer. Uh, and of course, we got the wool to sell. We'll have milk to sell. Uh, dude, let me really. Oh, I just love traffic and farm sim. Uh, well, you started it. Now, now I think I even got a car behind me. All right, I gotta see what's going on. Is there a car behind me, or am I just binding up? You know what? I'm gonna go around this way. Heck with you, dude. Uh, traffic 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 yeah there was, was a car kind of behind me he didn't care anyways like I was saying we'll have our loan paid off by next summer I do believe because like I said we owe 700 grand get four to five hundred grand from the grass big grass field we'll have tons of wool to sell not tons but I think enough with us the wool and the silage alone and then of course, like I said, we got milk. 
the bioprocessing plants go into town. So, yeah, we should be all set by next summer. Bill at the bank was rather pleased that uh, we repaid a good chunk of the loan off. Sent me a text message to thank me, and I sent him a text message back to say thank you for the loan. And I did also screw up. Why, traffic, why? In the uh, last episode, I said Steve at sales called about the pigs. I misspoke. That was Andy at the animal cell place. Uh, yeah, I don't know what it's called. It was Andy. Said the, sh said the pigs would be in today. So the pigs are will be in today. Uh, I may have to call and tell them that we're, we won't be ready for them just yet. But we have tons of sugar beet now. So a great demand of sugar beet. Wouldn't hurt us too much. Uh, I mean, we can always sell that milk as well. We don't. I got like maybe a tank full of milk left. All right. So for now, we're gonna leave this here because who knows? Yeah, I don't really uh, know what's gonna happen just yet. I don't want to bring the truck all the way back. So. Yeah, we got 363,000 liters of sugar beet, which is more than enough. The other thing I thought about doing is making more seed and maybe selling some seed. But for now, let's head back up to the John Deere. And I do believe the front loader... Actually, I am going to need the Volvo in just a bit. I'm going to have to give these people... Yeah, give these people... Give the animals some water. Uh, I'm just trying to think. Is my pallet fork... Not the pallet fork, but the bale spike. I'm trying to think where that is. I'm, I'm hoping it's over by the sheet. And hopefully in this episode I, I place my mic in a different spot. So if I sound different, it's because I'm trying to cut back the noise on the steering wheel. And this happens once in a while. I park the bail spike too close. And... It hooks into the fence, so I gotta learn to stop doing that. And of course, now I'm kind of hugging the fence over here. Not quite a total disaster, but it's close. One time, it did flip my John Deere, and I ended up on the other side of the sheet pen. But luckily, there's a gate that I could get out of. Oh, that was fun. Well. I can laugh about it now. I don't think I was laughing too well that day when it happened. I was like, oh no, how do I get myself out of here? Oh, potatoes. No, that's the wrong root crop. It's supposed to be sugar beet. Sugar beet, not potatoes. And I don't need the map. Uh, thank you. I kind of know the map well enough now to know where I'm going. So we're going to grab two hay bales up at the big farm. We may or may not get to the cultivating today, or the plowing slash cultivator. I do love that mod. Plows and cultivates at the same time. Yeah, it's not real, but then again, neither am I. Alright, open that up. Watch out for the bale spikes, those could hurt. Come in here. Yeah, every time I come here, I always think I got lucky because he up when he updated the map, he put this here, and I was like, uh, I just put this down. Uh, hay bales. We would like two of those, please. 
Two should be good. Um, here we go. Auto loader for the win for me. That truck should go the other other direction. No cars go down this road. I'm the only idiot that travels down this road. And once again, hopefully pigs next episode. <laughs> that corn better be ready on the fifth day of the fall. Yeah, the only field that uh, we I probably may do today is we may get that our new fields I should say I don't want to feel I want to call that yet all right sheep only have two percent grass left all right what does that do for them not bad it's almost full uh, but that's not bad. And I probably, I was thinking about uh, moving some of those wool pallets so when spring comes. Uh, no, that's the wrong button. There we go. Not low enough, huh? Is that low enough? There we go. Um, yes, yeah, so the John Deere can go back to the main yard, the farm yard. Actually, the main yard, I think, would almost be down below because it actually has more parking and I can call that the main yard and call this the farm yard. Let's just zip this down here. Go grab the Volvo so we can water up all these people. Yeah, here we go, people. People, people, people. Uh, nope. M, M is not map on this one. Not back. Just got done recording Farmer's Dynasty, so that's why I'm hitting all the wrong buttons again. Uh, yes, we'll leave this trailer here. Now the question is, I think the water trailer is going to be up where the canola field is or soybeans yeah we just did soybeans and then we'll top off the cows with what they need for the day I am just a little bit nervous about the cows with silage, but I think they're going to be just fine. Like I said, maybe I got like 10,000 liters still at the BGA. And if worse comes to worse, we'll just have to buy some from Steve at sales. I'm going to see if I can get around this guy before traffic comes. Staying away from that cliff wall because I have my rear tires I've clipped that stone wall enough where it almost tips me over. I think I've tipped over twice actually clipping those. I admit it. I have no problem admitting to that. But at least at least by taking care of the animals today, we don't have to really do it now until winter. Because usually they're good for about three days. There it is. Oh, no, no, no. Too close already. And we got should have plenty of water for everything up here. Yep. Turning the truck too tight with the trailer.
Uh, nope, wrong trigger. Wrong trigger again. There we go. Too bad it's not like uh, trucking simulator where you can just lean. I guess I could lean out, but boy, I gotta lean quite a ways to look out there. And when I do this one here, I definitely want the overhead view driving into the sheet. Because it is rather tight without knocking over my neighbor's mailbox. Fill them up. Yeah, sheep do not take much much water at all. Uh, let's see if the trailer binds up on the truck again. Well, it didn't that time. And this is where I always get stuck going out. Try to cut it as wide as I can. Not hit the mailbox. And when I don't say I get stuck there a lot, I get stuck. If I say I get stuck, I don't get stuck. Anyways, let's go uh, give the cows some water. And here we are. Let's go top them off, like I said. They'll be happy for a while. Um, yeah, don't want, I'm not going to, I actually went around them, kind of. Trailer didn't, but I did. I would like to get more cows, too. But obviously that's more money, and we're not, I want the pigs first. Yeah, 19, I'm not sure, even though I do love taking care of animals. And 19, having all of these animals could be just way too much to ask. But, you know, I may try it because I'm an idiot. Uh, we'll unhook that. Leave that truck here. So if we go to our animal page, the sheep are doing fine. The cows are doing okay. Other than straw and silage, they don't desperately need it at the moment. So... We're going to let them be. Uh, I do need to fix this case quadratrack because it has not run. I have no idea when it last ran. Um, is she hooked up or not? No, she's not hooked up. Let's see if she starts. Seemed like it uh, didn't want to at first, but she did. Um, I probably shouldn't have hooked that up. That was kind of stupid because I do need to repair this first. Let me uh, unhook that. Bring it to the shop. Leave the engine running. Repair. Yikes. I mean, this machine does cost quite a bit, so... I mean, it's not too bad, I suppose. <laughs> now that I know I can actually lean out the window, but I gotta tilt my track IR way out the window. Oh, I got a back window here, so what am I doing? There we go. I probably should put on my beacons as well. Of course, I can't see if they're on. They're on. Not like it's going to stop the traffic from ramming into me or me ramming into them. But I think we'll go out and cultivate this field. The new field. Plow it and cultivate it at the same time. And uh, yeah, we may call it an episode there. 
And hopefully on the next episode we can actually pick up our pigs. I mean, Andy did say from the animal cell place that the uh, pigs would be in today. He didn't say what time, so uh, he may have to keep them overnight. And that is if the corn's ready on the fifth day of a autumn. But we do need to get some of this stuff done before winter arrives. But I'm going to meet you up at the quote-unquote new field, so I'll see you in a quick second. Okay, here we are. I don't need the beacons anymore, for now. Uh, but the first thing we need to do is I need to somehow line up these fields as best as I can. So first things first, I need to zoom back so I can see how far this plow actually opens up. Uh, turn this on. Why to create new fields? The button Y, not why do I want to. Uh, so let's come up here. And probably the best thing, you know, we, we want to look at somewhat decent here. Uh, let's see if I hit new. Okay. No, no, I didn't want to do that. Uh, I know there's a way to adjust this. I haven't done it in a while, so hang on. Let me let me take a break for a second, and I'll I'll bring it back so I can figure out this here in a second. Oh, never mind. I figured out what button it was. I'm not a complete idiot. I'm I may, I'm not, but I'm not a complete idiot. It's the button below it. So basically, I want to line up that field there with something like that. All right. Uh, v, the lower cultivator. Alright, turn around. Make sure it looks somewhat decent. That does. So, definitely lift up the cultivator. I just need to do the edges around the field first. Oh no, it was like, why won't it turn? Uh, GPS is still locked on. Let me turn this off. Alright, now we'll do the same thing here. Line up this field. Hmm. Why is that going over so slowly? I think like that, I'll go with that. not too bad. If you know it, I'm starting to think the heck with GPS. Um, I'll just eyeball it. <laughs> yeah, this ought to be fun. All right. I mean, it's not too hard if it looks a little bit off. So what? It's not. They're not really square fields, anyways. That's not too bad. Then once we get the edges figured out, then it's just a matter of going around the fields and we don't think it will line up anything too much. Well, this one would have been good for GPS, but... We're fine. We're fine. Just take it a little bit slow, because it takes a while for the 
the plow to kind of react to what I'm doing. And I'm not really watching the tractor, I'm watching the plow. That's not too bad. I'm not looking for perfection here. I'm not a really perfectionist per se. You watch enough of my videos, you know by now I'm not. So. Kind of angle it up like this and then turn. Alright, it's all looking good now for the most part. Now it's just a matter of doing in between the fields. that up too busy watching the plow not watching watching my tractor what it's doing we'll go this way This is why I need a lot of horsepower with this uh, this uh, modded piece of equipment here. Although we are going up a pretty steep hill. I mean, it's not steep, steep, but it's pretty darn steep. Okay, lower that down. And our field will be created. We just need to give it a good plowing, that's all. I was trying to get it all in one pass, but that did not quite work now, did it? I just have to make sure when I get done here that I turn off create fields because... I don't want to make any more edges than I have to. we go we have a created field uh, let me make sure I, I turn it off there we go that is now off so our field big field is now created now if we go to our map it's not gonna really show it on the map though I don't think it does you can kind of see it it actually kind of does show it but if we go over to so the only field that technically didn't need plowing was field 9. I don't know when I did it. But uh, yeah, we're going to plow this right now. Plow slash cultivate. So that field's ready to go. All of our other fields don't really need it. But we're going to do them anyways. We're going to do all of our fields before winter, hopefully. Actually, while I'm here, I'll save game because reasons. But uh, yeah, let's get to plowing this field. Just trying to figure out how I want to do this. And I think we'll use actually GPS. And I'll get some of the headlands later.
am just about done with this because I, I, my driving with a quad and a steering wheel, my, my maybe my steering wheel is too sensitive. But that's not my big problem with it, and now is it? Uh, so, yeah, there's the field finally plowed and cultivated. But, uh, yeah, the case with the biggest engine in you can see when going up this little slope right here. Yeah, she's going to slow way down. Well, not way down. It's not bad. But 8 miles an hour is, well, that's 7. It is kind of on the slow side. When it can usually do it at 12. I think it's 12. One way to tell is I'm going to go downhill right here. What's the speed that she can cultivate? I thought it was 18, honestly. Alright, looks like it's 17. Oh, it was 18 there for a second, but whatever. Slipped it up. We'll fold that. Why that's folding? Yeah, uh... Yeah. It's just a wood chip, though. Not that big of a deal. A little, little, little piece of wood that we can take care of. And actually, sir, you can actually stay right there. So now we go to the field, and you can see now it's fully plowed. Where is my mouse? There's my mouse. There we go. So now, now you can see that it's fully plowed. Now the only thing is you can't... It looks like I missed a piece there. Yeah, I got some fertilization because there were some straws left in the field. But yeah, too bad it doesn't show up there, but yeah. But if you go here, you can see it's all cultivated as one big field. But yeah, I think that's going to do it for today, guys. I'm not going to worry too much about the cows. Well, I mean, I do worry about them. Uh, they're a little bit low here and everything, but they should be fine for another day, I do believe. I actually may, you know, I'll see how it goes when I get to around midnight and sleep through the night. But yeah, that's going to do it for today, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. I appreciate you watching as always. And I'll see you next time in the Pacific Northwest. But until then, have a good one.